Hi, this is David. Today I'm going to show you how to create a simple Node.js application. The first thing you'll need is to install Node if you haven't already done so. You can navigate to nodejs.org and it'll automatically detect what operating system you're using and give you these two options here. One is for the latest stable release and one is for the latest release, which may have some bugs, nothing's guaranteed here, but if you live on the cutting edge, that's Fine right there. Usually I'll take the stable release right here. If, it, if you don't see it, there is a downloads tab which will show you all of the releases here. Um, now, uh, I'm going to use Visual Studio, Studio Code to create this. And I have an empty folder right here. And what I'm going to do is create a new file in that folder. It doesn't really matter what I call it as long as it ends in .js. And the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import a library, the HTTP library, and store that library in a variable called HTTP. So the way I do that in Node is with this syntax here. So now I've got a variable HTTP, which encapsulates all the functionality of that library. And I can use that HTTP variable to create a server. And that takes a function, it's the functional language, close that off and tell it to listen on port 8081. So what will happen here is that anything inside of this function is going to be rendered, going to be returned when the user hits port 8081. And the way that's done, I, I, I find it useful just to have a little here output just to remind the user. This doesn't really do anything. It's just a message that it says, navigate here and you'll get whatever is rendered in here. Uh, all right, so what are we going to render? First thing we want to do is to um, set a header to tell it what kind of content we're spending, sending. And you notice you have a request and a response object here, req and res, the, the arguments for this function. I can use those. res.writehead method says what content is returned. I want to return 200 OK, and I want the content typed to be text plain. So this is going to be a really simple one. And then I'll, next thing I'll do is I'll do a response.write and output just hello world that's fine um, then i'll do a response dot end to let the browser know that there's no more content coming in this page and now i can run this and I, because i'm in visual studio code there is a tab right here the run and debug tab and i click the run and debug button and if there are no errors here then this toolbar pops up here and the console i get a message that says server running at localhost 881 the one that i set right here and uh, now it's available to me, and I can go open a browser and navigate to post eighty eighty one, and there is response to the return. I'll zoom in a little bit so to see it more easily. If I come back over here and stop it, and then try to refresh this. It's not running on that port. It's not available. Just it'll just spin a little bit and then time out. Notice also that this is the command that was run: node exe and app.js. So it ran that. I don't have to do it in Visual Studio. I could actually do this from the command line, or I could script it somehow. Um, and so, for example, here in PowerShell, I'm in the same folder here. Um, I don't really need C program files in Node.js because that's in my path, but if it's not, I would add that whole thing. But really, I can just do node.exe, and then because I'm in the correct folder where app.js is, I can just do app.js.slash app.js. If I'm not, I'd have to pull, provide the path for that. But here it is running again, and now when I go back to my browser and refresh, now it works again. A little bit more complex. Instead of returning just plain text, let's return some HTML. And so here in our hello world, let's add some HTML tags to that. Like this here, and then maybe I'll do a response type, right? Uh, tag with the word done. That looks good. <clears throat> and now it looks like I'm missing a some ending stuff there. Uh, 
That all looks good. Now, if I run it again, I have an error. Let me take a look at why there's an error in here. And it says that, uh, oh, already in use, because I didn't stop my terminal right here. Control C, let me stop that. And then run it again right here. Run and debug here. And then I'll go back to my browser there and refresh and now i've got some html the header one tag and a paragraph tag right there okay and then finally i'll do a little bit of javascript in here i wrote something that'll just copy and paste that just outputs the numbers one through ten in an unordered list just to demonstrate that you could have some sort of logic in JavaScript right here. So I'll output a UL and a slash UL, and in between there I'll do a for loop to output LI followed by a number here. And I'll restart this application again, and once I've done that, now I can come here and refresh. And again, I made some sort of mistake. Oh, there's an error uh, somewhere in here, so let me just see what's going on here. Uh, resource is not, oh, it should be R. Es, just copy and paste, kids. Actually, think about what you're doing. Res is the name of the argument, not response. Now I'll try that one more time, and it looks like it's running just fine. Come back here, refresh it, and now I get a little bit more HTML. This time it's more dynamic. I'm um, actually running some code to do that. So in this video, I've shown you how to create a simple Node.js application. This is David. Thank you for watching.